Hello students, I am a faculty of science at Lotus Petal Foundation Gurugram. Today we will be talking about chemical properties of metals and non-metals. So let's uh, start with the chemical properties of metals. Reaction of metals with oxygen. Metals, they react with oxygen to form metal oxides. For example, when copper is heated, it combines with oxygen to give copper oxide. Similarly, when aluminium is heated, it combines with oxygen to form aluminium oxide. Now, let's talk about the reaction of metals with water. Metals, they react with water to form metal oxides or metal hydroxide along with the release of hydrogen gas. For example, sodium, when reacts with water, gives sodium hydroxide and release of hydrogen gases there. Similarly, when aluminium reacts with water, it gives aluminium oxide and hydrogen. Reaction of metals with acids. Metals, they react with acids to form salts and hydrogen. For example, magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid to give magnesium chloride which is a salt and at the same time there is release of hydrogen gas. Similarly, zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid and gives zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. How do metals react with metal salt solutions? A more reactive metal would displace a less reactive metal from its salt solution. Now, if we take an example of magnesium, then magnesium displaces copper from copper sulfate solution because magnesium is more reactive as compared to copper. Similarly, zinc would displace copper from copper sulfate solution as zinc is more reactive as compared to copper. Iron also displaces copper from copper sulfate solution because iron is more reactive as compared to copper. Now, what is the reactivity series of metals? The arranging of metals in decreasing order of the reactivity is called reactivity series of metals. We have the most reactive elements. Then, after that, we'll have the elements which have lesser reactivity. And at the end, we'll have the least reactive metals. So, the most reactive metals are potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium and aluminium. Then after zinc, the reactivity starts decreasing and the least reactive metals are gold, silver, mercury. Let's talk about chemical properties of non-metals. Non-metals, they react with oxygen to form non-metallic oxides. For example, when sulfur is heated, it combines with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. When carbon is heated, it combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Reaction with water. Generally, non-metals, they do not react with water, though they may be very reactive in air. Such non-metals are stored in water. For example, phosphorus is a very reactive non-metal. It catches fire if exposed to air. So, to prevent this, it is stored in water. There is no reaction of non-metals with acids. So, how do metals and non-metals react? Well, Metals lose electrons and they become positive ions, so they are called as electropositive elements. For example, sodium loses its one electron and the, it becomes electropositive. Non-metals, because they gain electrons, they become negative ions and they are referred to as electronegative elements. Now, for example, chlorine when reacts with sodium gains one electron from sodium and becomes chloride ion and it becomes electronegative in nature. Thank you.